Warrior 3S. Yes, lots of comments I got about this were saying they felt that it was a little bit too big for an EDC torch. Okay, Olight listened and Olight provided and now we're going to be talking about this really cool, pretty much perfect EDC torch. So here we have it, the Baton Free Pro Max. Yes sir, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get this on the tabletop and go over some of the seriously cool innovations which went into this torch. It is not a bog standard basic torch. In fact, it's far from it. So let's have a quick look about how cool this thing actually is. So before we get stuck into the torch, real briefly, in my opinion, if you're gonna be spending a lot of money on a high-end piece of kit and equipment, in this case, a torch, you would expect the quality to be throughout the whole thing, not just the torch, i.e. not putting one of those really cheap, horrible blister packs, you know, with the clear plastic shrink wrap all over it. No, not the case. Starting from the box, everything is tickety-boo, got some nice cool graphics on it. So the torch will sit inside there, and as soon as you open the box, you're met with one of these. It's really, really important because all of the um, instructions from startup, okay? So the object of the exercise is you pull this straight out of the box I just showed you, and all of the idiot's guide, um, call it for what you will, is actually on there already, okay? So if you fail to look at this first, and just think you know best and you're gonna start using the torch, you might need to look at this first because some people will get it confused and can't turn the torch on. So the first thing you do, obviously look at the instructions, is you unscrew the head, you remove that, and then you pull the little tab out which connects the head to the battery. If you don't do that, it simply won't work, whether you charge it or not, okay? So I do like the idea of these really cool, um, easy to follow pull out guides, okay? Obviously, once you've um, gone through the instructions and they are very basic, you just pull it off and inside there, all of the kit and equipment, which you see before you, lies inside. Now, when I first opened this, I thought, okay, what's this for? This. This was quite interesting because it brought back memories when I was in the security industry and when we used to use the torches provided. Something like this is really, really cool because what was tending to happen is the torches would sit on the shelf, they would often fall off, roll over, get lost. Something like this. And I believe the design is, if you look at it, it's a little tiny lip on the front there, okay? So that little lip would be designed to fit underneath um, a shelf or something like that. Or indeed, if you wanted to stick that onto a wall, now they've provided some really good quality um, sticky back tape there, made by a company by 3M. And yes, they are probably one of the world's leaders in um, adhesives, okay? So you've also got a spare one in case something happens or you want to beef it up underneath, etc., Options are always good. Personally, if it was me, what I would do, I'm sorry, I like, but what I would do is I would draw a hole straight through there, countersink it, and sit that flush to your wall. Okay, so it's stuck in there, it's secure. Once that's done, all you need to do is you need to put your torch underneath there so it sits magnetically and you can take it off stick it back on there, it's not gonna accidentally roll over. So I do like that, that's a real nice idea that you've done there. These loads of people are talking about these charging systems, and rightly so, they are absolutely fantastic. It's so quick, so easy to charge your device, and if you do have like a, a USB-C um, charging port in devices, over time, especially if you're quite brutal with it, they will weaken and they will break. Not the case with these magnetic charges. You just slap that on the torch and it starts charging immediately, okay? Obviously with a USB um, A lead there, it will go into practically anything, okay? So that is really good because they've protected the device from accidental damage with the USB-C port. And also they supplied this, which I think is a nice idea. Because it's an EDC torch, some people don't like to carry the actual torch on a person. So if they're not wearing trousers, they're wearing a dress, if they're female, if they are wearing jeans, and it's really a nightmare to put stuff into jeans. Personally, I don't wear jeans, I can't stand them. There's just no room in the pockets, it's not comfortable. For something like this, you charge your little torch up, you drop it in there, you pull the drawstring, 
It's in there and that will sit in your EDC bag, in your everyday carry bag, whether it's a pouch, a day sack, whatever you need to carry. It's in there, it's protected, it's charged. Now, furthermore, I would recommend that if you do this option, keep it in a compartment where you can get to easy. The last thing you want is this, right at the bottom of your big main compartment carry bag and you need to get to it. And it's always gonna be when it's dark, when you need light. So make sure that you can get to it real quick and real simple. Just a quick note about how cool these cables are. You see this tiny bit here, which leads into the magnetic connection there. As soon as you attach that to your Olight torch, that will either go red or green, okay? Red means it's basically charging and green means it's ready. Real simple, real easy to understand. And in this instance, the torch that we're gonna go um, showing you from zero to fully charged will take four hours to charge. Okay, just a little head note there, but I do like that light indicator, it's brilliant. So at a glance you can see, oh yeah, cool, the torch is fully charged and we're ready. So I do like that idea. So here we are then, the main event, the torch itself. You can tell by the size of my hands roughly how big it is. And we're gonna go over some of that in a sec. So we're gonna start through this big long list which I wrote down about how cool this torch actually is, okay? Don't be put off by its size because it will surprise most of you out there, okay? This actually comes with a 5,000 milliamp battery, which is lithium iron, one of the best ones probably out the market out there. Now they estimate through their testing that that will recharge and charge a number of 21,700 times. That is just for one battery. Okay, the battery will be supplied with this. You don't have to buy an extra one, okay? Also, this is IPX8, which is fully waterproof. Okay, so all of the seals, etc., in there will make sure that you can submerge that and it will be absolutely perfect underwater, okay? Also, they've um, enhanced their drop test. So you can drop this on a hard surface at any angle, 1.5 meters they absolutely guarantee it to that drop test, which is pretty astonishing because most torches usually go up to one meter. So they've gone an extra step, making sure that these are just a little bit tougher than most torches are on the, out in the market there. Also in the front of the torch, built with inside it is a proximity sensor. So what that basically means, it detects anything which is close to the front of this torch. So. If the torch is getting hot, i.e. it's on turbo mode, it's on really full power, which you're gonna be astonished by how powerful this is, by the way. It detects it and it brings it back to stop it damaging anything that's close to it, okay? A really cool um, idea, and you don't see many torches with that function on there. What you are seeing here is the magnetic base on the back or the bottom of the torch. A cool thing about this, recently I had to reverse down a country lane in the darkness because there was a tractor needed to come down. There was nowhere really for me to pull in. There was ditches either side of this narrow track. Quick as a flash, I got the torch out, put it on the back of the vehicle, turned it on, the magnetic base held firm on the back and I can see exactly everywhere because this torch is a floodlight. Everything was lit up behind me and I reversed with ease so I can find the pull in, get in there, the tractor went past, I've got out there, turned the torch off, put it in my pocket and I carried on. So what you need to do is you need to move it, you need to shake it, you need to drop it, whatever it is, and all of a sudden that light will pulse for five seconds, revealing exactly where the power button is and you can crack on. Just like that. Absolutely love it, it's a really cool feature. So there's the torch. You can press it as many times as you want, you can do the rest of it and it won't do anything. All you simply need to do is hold it down for two seconds and there it is, the torch is now on. If you wanted to turn it off, you press it, hold it down for a further two seconds and that's it, it's off. So now we've unlocked the light, you press this once and what you are seeing there is one lumen. Very low level lights but guess what, once this torch is fully charged and you put it onto moonlight mode one lumen as you see here it will run continually for 60 days yes six zero days non-stop 24 7 for 60 days before the battery will run out 
So you hold it down for a second and all of a sudden you've got 15 lumens. That is its low setting. That will stay like that for 180 hours before it will run out. The next one is the medium setting. That will run at 120 lumens. Okay, so very, very, very bright. In fact, that's brighter than most head torches out there, but we're still only on medium setting, okay? Now that will run for nearly a whole day. Yes, 23 hours. That will just stay like that before she runs out. Now that is bright. I'm struggling to actually look at that um, with my own eyes because everything else is hard to see after that. What you are seeing there is 800 lumens and that will run like that for full 80 minutes. So yes, an hour and 20 minutes on that setting. Now this is astonishing. Okay, now I'm going to show you some footage when I was outside testing this the other day. At night time, you wouldn't believe, you would not believe the power of this thing. So if you press this, I do it twice, like that. Now that is in full turbo mode. Guess what? 2,500 lumens. Yes, that is a serious amount of power to come out of something so small. So that will run for one minute because it's consuming so much battery. After one minute, it will drop down to 32% of that amount of power, and that will stay like that for 240 minutes in that mode. Now, if you guys are of a disposition where you are affected by epilepsy, I strongly advise that you look away for the next 10 seconds. So if you want to put it into strobe mode, okay, so a great self-defense option, you literally tap this real quick three times. And it will strobe, okay? And that is a serious, strong strobe. Really, really, really good for self-defense, especially the women out there with what's going on around the world, and especially at night time, that is a great option to have the strobe. It is a very, very good, effective way to make someone stop what they're doing, giving you time to get away, or at least give you options of something else you can do about the situation. So the dimensions of this, like I said at the start of the video, lots of people were saying the other torch was just way too big, okay? This one really does seem to fit the bill. As you saw, it fitted in my hand with ease earlier. The total length from front to back is 114 millimeters and the width of it is 26 millimeters. So more than capable to fit into most pockets and pouches, etc. The weight of it is cool because they supply the weights with the battery, which is a realistic weight, okay? 148 grams with that mega battery already inside it. So with the battery indicator light there, the one that's just gone off, that's really cool because it color codes how much battery is in there, okay? So if you look at that light and it is green, that is currently over 60% fully charged, okay? If it goes to orange, that's anywhere between 10 and 60% fully charged. If you see the light is red, that is between five and 10%, okay? If it starts blinking red, that is under 5%, giving you some time to realize that, right, okay, we need to charge her up again. So that's pretty much the meat and potatoes um, gone over. Lastly, the clip. The clip is absolutely awesome because it gives you two methods of carrying this. Um, tip up or tip down if you carry knives, the same sort of thing. So you can use inside and outside and you can mount it on your clothing, on a pouch, on the side of your pack, whatever it is. And also don't forget what I said earlier, that is a cool feature because it's nice and flush, that will just literally clip magnetically onto any metallic surface, right? Seriously, blew me away when I reversed my vehicle on that bend, that actually was a game changer. So what we are seeing now then, is me walking around in pure darkness with this tiny little torch on. At this time I was filming this, it was on full whack, so it was on turbo mode. Two and a half thousand lumens, yes, inside this little thing, which is mind blowing, okay? Yes, there are torches out there which are very affordable, but they're never ever gonna match the power of something like this. 
seriously blew me away. It's incredible. And like always with Olight, you get this seriously good um, quality fit and finish. These come in a variety of colors. This happens to be OD Green, which is one of my personal favorites. I do like the look of the copper ones. So at some point, we're gonna see if we can get some copper ones to show you guys. I did have two emails from people. Have you got any of the Olight copper ones we can see for a review? So we'll um, wait and see how that pans out and we will endeavor to bring you some copper ones in the near future, hopefully. But for now, my personal favorite, EDC Olive Green Torch. Absolutely love it. I just think it's fantastic. So there it pretty much is. Um, a little overview, almost close up shot of um, what this thing actually looks like. Um, as true as I can get it. And like I said, there is my hand. And yes, it protrudes either end. So if you are going to use this as a self-defense option, it will absolutely do, okay? Um, my hands are a size nine, which is a large hand. If you've got bigger hands, it might go over the edge. But for now, as a regular fit, it's absolutely perfect. So I'm glad you stayed to the end of the video because the all important information is coming out right now. If you click on the link, there is an affiliate link and that will give you huge discounts, okay? The discount actually starts right now, so you're more than welcome to go in there and check and grab yourself a bargain and save some money. It also helps myself and the channel out too. So yes, it's pretty much a win-win. Don't forget to share this video, tell them about the link underneath where they can save some money also, and that helps me, my channel, and everything else, especially you guys, saving some money in times like this. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget the link below. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Take care and stay funky.